Okay, so maybe you're feeling resistance towards something. Uh, maybe it's taking a particular action like getting to work, like uh, exercising. Maybe it's something bigger like uh, you're resisting money or health or love or, you know, whatever. Because everything is available. The extent to which we're not experiencing what we want is the extent to which we're resisting it. Maybe somebody told you to watch this video and you're feeling resistance to watching this. And what are you, what are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at the picture of the skull and probably wondering, why does he have a skull on his wall? Interesting question, because that's what happens is we often look at things and we see like a skull and crossbones, which is traditionally, you know, the sign for poison. We see the skull and crossbones on something and we go, ooh, stay away from that and we feel that resistance. We resist it because it perce we perceive it as a threat. Interesting thing though, um, this isn't a picture of a skull at all. It's a picture of a woman putting on her makeup. Yeah, that's not a skull at all, is it? Funny how when we look at things closer up, they're um, not as threatening. They're often not what we think they are at all. But too often, we don't really look. We just assume. We go, ooh, skull and crossbones is a threat. I don't want to have anything to do with that. Uh, and that's just caused by our beliefs. You know, we're, we're taught to think that way because we don't always have the time to uh, analyze things and look at them. But uh, as long as we're here, let's clear up some of that resistance so you can actually look at those things that might actually benefit you. So, taking full responsibility for your own well-being if you choose to tap. Even though I'm feeling this resistance, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling this resistance, I choose to love and forgive myself. Even though I'm feeling this resistance, thoughts are going on in my head that tell me to avoid something. And maybe another part of me is saying, but that would be good for me. And so I want to clear this resistance. And even though I have this resistance, I choose to deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and anyone else who might have contributed to this resistance. All this resistance, all this resistance, all this resistance. I can feel it. Sometimes it makes me tense. Sometimes it just makes me feel weak. Sometimes it feels like I'm tired. I'm too tired to do this. I don't have the energy to do this. Well, that's not true. I'm completely made up of energy. I'm nothing but energy. I have plenty of energy. I just also have resistance. And I choose to clear it. Letting go of this resistance. All this perception that what I'm resisting poses some kind of threat to me. I see the skull and crossbones, or what I perceive to be a skull. and I see it as a threat. And then I'm stuck. 
I want this thing or I want to take this action but I find myself blocked because of this perceived threat because of all this resistance and I'm releasing that resistance most of what I'm afraid of probably isn't true it's probably not nearly as bad as I'm afraid it is and maybe it's not bad at all I choose to question this resistance. I choose to question this threat. What am I really afraid of? What's stopping me? With anything that I'm resisting, choose to ask myself, what am I really afraid of? And I choose to clear that fear. Ninety-nine out of a hundred times, what I'm afraid of isn't real. clearing this belief that it's something to be afraid of. Clearing this fear all the way back through my past. Clearing this fear at a cellular level. And letting go of this resistance. So that I can allow myself to take action. so I can allow really good things into my life that I've been resisting. I'm questioning that resistance and I'm releasing it. Releasing it at a cellular level and really setting myself free. setting myself free to move forward in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. And go ahead and take different things that you're resisting and uh, hold them in mind while going through this video. Just clear that resistance out clear that perception of a threat out so you can really allow yourself to take action you can allow yourself to have all the wonderful things that are there for you to have because you deserve them and the more good things you allow well, that has a positive benefit for a lot of other people too so thanks for doing so hey did you know that I have a free newsletter yeah it's called success beyond belief it's a monthly newsletter. Every month I write an article. I include a tapping transcript and a lot of other good stuff. And uh, I don't bombard you every week with all kinds of different sales letters and stuff like that. Um, I try to keep it content rich. But it's a great way to find out what I'm up to, including live appearances. I'm going to be trying to do more of those. And you want to find out uh, when I might be coming to your town or maybe I'll have a survey asking people where I should uh, come, where they'd like me to come. So uh, there's a um, link in the box up there. So check that out, please. And um, you can also subscribe to me here on YouTube. So that'd be great, too, so that you know when I've made a new video. Just wanted to let you know. Thanks.